Yeah, man. Well, I, I really do think that's the only thing that can replace religion now is people, and again, could be wrong, but I think it's people starting to just do like acid and mushrooms and stuff. It's interesting you think this is the time in history, in human history, where we replace religion. It's a little, uh, well, a little I'd say, borderline arrogant of you. What do you mean? You think we're, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it started in like the 1800s. I'm Religion? Saying, yeah. I mean, it started to kind of falter on a massive scale. At least in the West. Okay. With the yeah, with the Enlightenment, it started to kind of like fall apart. Okay. So it's like, but I think we're stuck in a weird like, uh, uh, what you call it? What the fuck's it called? We're in like a weird purgatory right now where people are like. Nice religious terminology. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> it's like where you kind of like believe in stuff and kind of don't. And you don't know. So it's like, I mean, I, I don't have look. I don't have the answers. It's just the stuff I think about. I hear you. This is what I'm. This is what I'm on right now, mentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard. Uh, so I talked to my therapist about. It. She's like, "Okay." <laughs> oh wait, you, you see a therapist? I still do psychoanalysis. Oh, yeah. Oh shit, that's my shit, dude. Nice, I love man. it. I love, but it sucks because I'm so into psychoanalysis that I start psychoanal like psycho uh, analyzing everything. Where I'm like, "Well, this is why I do this. This is why I feel uncomfortable in grocery stores." Well, I did get lost in the mall one time. Thought I was following my mom. Well, and I started, and she's like, "Well, all right, all right." All right. Let's take it easy. Oh, you try to do like her job while you're in there? Well, I try to be like, well, you know what I was thinking about? It's like maybe. This. Oh, my God, dude. I can't even. I mean, I guess I was about to be like, I can't even imagine being your therapist. It's like, I, oh, wait. Yeah, I can. I my do last I've done it 105 last, times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it 105 my, hours. My last therapist ghosted me. This fucking never call, no call, no. Some other lady was like, hey, I saw your vial. Uh, I think you're my person now. And I was like, that's what's up. What happened to the other person? Just, they didn't call you? I was like, no. And they're like, that's really fucked up. They're supposed to call you. And I was just like, is what it is, babe. What time do you want me to come in? <laughs> Here I come. You're going to find out why. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I told you I went to therapy once. It's fucking... It's and the tight. guy I was like, like well, you're depressed. Here, take these pills. Oh, you went to like a definitely psychi- don't do stand-up. What? <laughs> yeah. I just went to a psychiatrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you got to go to a fucking like... Went in once. I was like, I ain't taking no fucking pills, doc. You should have smacked I'm, him out I'm going to become a stand-up comic. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not into the psychiatry. I mean, it, it helps some people, but... I like just talk. I mean, it doesn't, you know, it is what it Everybody is. Everybody I've talked to, a lot of the comics in New York do therapy. Like, yeah. they all do. Yeah. And they're all very strong proponents of it. They're like, you got to fucking do it. It's pretty tight. Well, it's like, it's cool to do. Uh, just and it, you, you basically, it's just you figure the shit out for yourself. They kind of like point stuff out here and there, but you just talk. And they just kind of like, oh, that's weird. What about this? What's that? And you're just kind of like, it makes you hit your blind spots where you're just like, I never thought of that, mm. but it's pretty cool. I like it. It's, it's something I look forward to. You got to find a good therapist. The one yeah. I had sucked the first time, and I hated it. And I always canceled. The lady I have now is fantastic. Yeah, she just you know she just sits there and it's just like, hmm, that's interesting, and like just is like, so is this what you're saying? I'm like, yeah, pretty much. And she's like, well, okay, you should probably not do that. What? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah, lady's yeah, probably yeah. sitting there like, don't mail bombs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like Soros deserves a package. <laughs> she's like, ah, please don't. <laughs> but yeah, she's uh, God bless her heart. Yeah, the uh, every New York comic that does it's also like every everybody that does comedy is fucked up, and then yeah, it's like, well, yeah, or maybe everybody that does comedy is just open. Yeah, exactly. Because pretty much everyone's like you said earlier is like pretty fucked up. Yeah, no, I don't buy that. Like, for that bad shit happens mm-hmm. to a lot of accountants. Oh, for sure, <laughs> they're going through some tough times, and they have then they're in an environment where you have to completely repress everything yeah. going on. It's like. While like scrambling for that fucking CFO position or something, it's mm. fuck. That's a sick and twisted environment. I mean, comedy is a fucked up, weird environment too. But yeah, yeah, dude. Comedy, all you have to worry about is Lemair Lee getting banned. You gotta watch out for that. Yeah, you can't ban the Lemair boy. That was fucking. That was one shot too far, dude. That was the the literal edge. You think? I don't think so. Not at all. This will blow over. <laughs> Not at all. Nothing matters. <laughs> Literally, none of this fucking matters. It matters, dude. It's just uh, you know. You gotta be, you gotta be at peace with the fact that one day you get to fizzle out, dude. You see, enjoy everything and then just go down. It's no big deal. <laughs> this, is, this is a dark cast, dude. Yeah. What happened? What I've audio book did you get re- hit with? Dude? I've been reading a lot of real oh. dark stuff at nighttime before I go to bed. You're reading the dark arts before bed. Yeah, a lot of uh, John Gray. He's a, he's a fucking, he's a dark bull. Yeah, but it's What's it's not chatting like. About? Everything I've been talking about, the whole thing, how people are, how progress is a myth and how it's just like progress is like the decaying Christian myth and how we think we're going to like yeah. separate ourselves. We think we're separate from nature. 
it's really not a, a depressing thing. He's his whole thing is like, you don't like people think like we we always say like why do we come into this world? He's like we don't come into it, we come out of it. Yeah. We're just like waves popping, you know, popping out of an ocean. We're just like, uh, man, I'm down. Uh, you know what I mean? So it's like it's a nice way to think. I, I had just, a thought when I was a kid that because we were talking about predestination, like predetermined mm-hmm. and like free choice and all that. Mm-hmm. And I was when I was young, I was like, well, we're all animals. And if because I remember they were like dogs don't have souls. I remember in Catholic mm-hmm. school, they're like, dogs don't have souls. They can't think. Yeah, that was some bullshit. They dude. only make decision off instinct. And I was like, well, so do we. They didn't have, They didn't like that? I was like, we're all instinct. Mm-hmm. Therefore, everything's predetermined. Maybe That's instinct is God. What'd they say? They were like, you're a fucking weird kid. <laughs> Here's an extra fucking lunch. Here's double lunch, dude. You're going to play O-line. Oh, it's so like, funny. We're going to hit your head until these <laughs> dumb ideas get out of there. And now I think philosophy is gay. So they won. They won, dude. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, philosophy is fucking lame, dude. I've been, I hated philosophy. Dude. It, there's never an answer. So I fucking hated it. It sucks. Yeah. It really. There's a thing called the school of life on YouTube and they go through all of the Western thinkers from like the very beginning and they give you like a nine minute rundown on like what a lot of the stuff's kind of cool. But yeah, yeah, a lot of it's just like. Just jerk off stuff. Yeah, I remember one guy's like morality. He was talking about how we're all just bags of meat, mm-hmm. basically. Yeah, like we're all just running on it, like nothing, Matt. And then the guy he was telling that to just kicked a dog, like in front of him while they were walking. He was like, "What the fuck, man?" He was like, "Where's it? You're not supposed to feel bad, dude. That's we're just meat." See, yeah, I he's mean, like, "See, you got morality." Well, what sucks is the function of philosophy back in. I think Plato I got that story them. right. That's a sick fucking story. <laughs> the function of philosophy was to continuously like figure out what's going on and for people to talk. And then it just got kind of like ruined by nerds. Basically. Yeah. They're just kind of like, eh, I'm the better mess. And then it gets lined up with college and it's like it's supposed to be for just two people to talk. All my philosophy result revolves around dogs. Oh, for sure. Guy dude. kicked a dog when that teacher told me dogs don't have souls. I watched dog. There's a dogs documentary. Soder told me to watch this documentary. What's it called? On Netflix. It's called Dogs. I got to see this. Now. I watched the first episode this morning. When I'm hungover, mm-hmm. I'm, I cry pretty easy. Yeah, for sure. Dude, I was watching it in front of Claire. Five minutes into the first episode, I started crying. I was like, I can't watch this fucking... What's, what's it about? The first episode's about a, a little girl who has seizures, like, horribly. Oh. So they're going to get her a dog that's trained to mm-hmm. detect seizures. And, like, stay with her at all times and bark when she's having a seizure. What? Yeah, so then it's like, there's little girls in bed... She's like, this. I'm so excited to get my puppy. He's going to save my life. And like they show the puppy, like the dog getting like trained and shit. Oh and I was my like, God, it's so fucking nice. It's so good. <laughs> Dude, that well, the John Gray guy doesn't believe for a second that animals aren't conscious. He's like, we're all conscious. He's like, humans are the ones who are conscious enough where they're cursed to actually like know that they die. Yeah. Like, animals are conscious, but they just don't know they're going to die. Just fucking they balling. don't care. Yeah. They're yeah. just kind of like, like I literally took a nap on my couch today. My dog goes, fuck yeah, dude. Hops over the thing, lays down, little cuddle buddy dude, and he's just chilling. Dude. Meanwhile, I'm like, no one lets me sleep in this yeah. house. My fucking girlfriend always gets mad when I wake her up from a nap, and she's being loud as fuck. We got to contact it. We got to get you on the horn with O'Leary. Oh, yeah, dude. He'll hit you with all this. They get they the, study all this philosophy and all this stuff. Yeah, they're the seminary. And they have the answers through, like, they get taught all the answers and shit. John Gray is a fucking... Every time I start saying shit about, like, animals... I'm like, I can see there's, there's something there, like with a dog. Yeah, like what the, are they trying the, to say? The bond. He's like, you sound a lot like St. Francis of Assisi right now. There, nothing like, wrong with that. Hell yeah, dude. A lot of those saints are fucking sick, dude. Nothing yeah. wrong with them. Tom, Tommy Aquini, dude. He was the fucking Tommy man. Aquini. Tommy Aquini. Tommy Dude, Aquini was a baller. He was a fucking sick ass. I, love, sick I used scientist. to love when I was a kid reading about how all the saints got killed. They all, like <laughs> Every <laughs> single time, it was like, yeah, they, they boiled this guy on a giant <laughs> frying pan. Well, you wonder like, why what? people are so scared to speak in public. It's like, you used to fucking <laughs> yeah. throw a rock at your head and kill you, dude. <laughs> like, it's yeah. a totally rational you know, People fear. are like instinctively like afraid of snakes and spiders. Yeah. That's why, yeah. Public speaking's like up there. Like people are like, I'd rather die than speak publicly, dude. It's like, yeah, people are more afraid of it. Instinctively, if you speak out against the herd, they'll literally kill you. Yeah, and it's not a good death. No, dude, they'll cut your tongue out. They give you. They gave a. I think who was it? Plato or Socrates? Whoever came second, he got fucking uh, hemlock. Yeah, they like make you drink poison, dude. (laughs) Yeah, that's that's really funny. Epicurean dude or Epicurious? He was fucking. That was back then. It was like you would just like see what was going on and be like. I have a better way of living and you would espouse it. And he basically was like, you don't need success. You don't need to like worry about like marrying high up or like status. He was like, all you need to do is get all your closest dogs and just live with them. And that was, he started, he literally did that. And there was, it was called like an Epicurean, like 
like compound that like you know people would just live together. You just live with all your boys, split a house, and everyone stopped trying to like, I guess fuck chicks, a mass Start wealth, each other. yeah, mass wealth. So they, they just were, built a gay mansion. They just built a gay mansion with all his boys. And there was girls and shit there too. Nah, and then just dudes, dude, it spread out. to the point where there was like hundreds of thousands of people living like this. And the fucking once Christianity became like the official like Roman yeah. or whatever, they like, came you owe us through. money, you fucking idiots. They came through, like. Got those guys to conquer them, and then they turned. That's where the idea of monasteries came from. Hell yeah, pretty sick. School yeah. life, YouTube, dude. All I do is watch YouTube, listen to audiobooks, and stay inside. Don't hang out with people, dude. <laughs> that sounds like a good philosophy. It's pretty fun. Dude. Sounds helpful. <laughs> what are we at? What are we? At? We're out of here, dude. I, so I, I, I shouldn't be on. I shouldn't have been on the air at all, dude. I fucking, this is a fucking McCusky. I know. I fucking. I. You just espoused your beliefs, dude. I did. I'm lucky. I'm happy I got that out. Now I can move on because that was something that was bubbling around my brain. Sorry. Don't be sorry. I don't, like to, I don't I, like to dominate the cast, dude. I fucking, yeah, no, that, that was a good one. If you, go, if you do online, the combination of online dating and being a decent stand-up comedian is like, it's fish in a barrel, bro. You bring them out, first date ever, they meet you, all they do is you just fucking smile upon them. And you're on stage at the Helium Open like crushing, dude, and they don't have a fucking choice, dude. But. That's unfair. But to do what? But to go home, dude, and fuck. And fog you, or like you know, maybe on the third date, you're definitely you're you definitely you're doing that. You've definitely broke through their whatever their mental barrier of like, should I give this guy pussy or not? You've broke it. Now it's a ma- it's just a matter of time. They're like, all right, I'm sounds like the the groundwork for an erotic fiction. Maybe it's fucking. Maybe it's a guy who takes a girl to an open mic. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, you're tied up in a basement, getting hit with shit. Or next thing you know, you're co-owners of a house. Talking. True. Next thing she, you know, she I'm, yells I'm, at you I'm all the still time. Dating you. <laughs> yeah. And she's really mean. And for some reason, her stuff can be everywhere. But if you have one thing out, say a toaster, it's the end of the fucking world. Oh. And then when you point out the fact of the hypocrisy of the situation, you're now like someone at her job who can't accept fucking criticism. You're exactly like that guy at work. Mm hmm. Her work husband. Mm hmm. You remind me of my work husband. Oh, man. Well, it's actually, it's the work enemy. But it is one of those things <laughs> where it's like. That I don't understand, dude. When it's just like all of their shit can be fucking everywhere. You have one. Th- it's like you're gonna put that away. And it's like your shit's literally. We can't use a table. We don't. We don't have a, a fucking dinner table because your shit's everywhere. You're gonna put that away. Well, maybe you should say you should speak up and say it bothers you. Why are you bringing it up now? You can't accept the fact that you're wrong. And it's like, no, you can't see the hypocrisy. That you can't accept it. What the fuck? And then, dude, oh my god, don't get me started. This is pure. I am definitely your therapist. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy shit. Dude. You're my open mic for therapy. I'm like, all right, Shane thought that was pretty cool. I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna hit it with the therapist. Dude, see what they think. <laughs> I, through my ther- through my insurance, I get free therapy, so I could go to therapy every day if I wanted to. I think you should. I, that's how you're supposed to do psychoanalysis. <laughs> you you're supposed to do it like every day, like four times a week. How do you think Freud ended up with his? What do you mean? Fucking, you want to butt fuck your mom and uh, Freud's shit was finger your wild, dad, dude. kill your fucking bitch dad, and fuck your mom with his dick, dude. He. Uh, I told you how he was like interviewing all these. Gr- there was like this thing called hysteria when like Sniz would just bug out of nowhere. I think they like. All of like uh, all of like the mental diseases for a while, they just called hysteria. Yeah, the chicks were getting hysteria. Like they would just be like inconsolable, all anxious, and freaking out, and making shit up. And uh, wait, making what? Making shit up? Dig this, dude. Oh, well, or just like just yeah, like like talking to it's just yeah. going bonkers. Yeah, yeah. But get this, so Freud he's interviewing all these women who are hysterical, and through all the things they're saying, like my father, and he was doing like these were like high society women. My father molested me. My father molested me. My father molested me. Before he comes out and is like, yo, a lot of this is serious from people getting molested. And they were just like, yo, bro. And every dad is like, yo, shut the fuck up, these are high. These are high-profile dudes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they were yeah. like, nah, bro. I don't think so. That can't so. be it. That's not coming out. Go back to the fucking notebook. Dude, Freud went back and came up with the term of, he's like, women secretly have rape fantasies and bought penis. Like, dude, like, totally flipped the script. Because he did that a couple times. His dad originally, one of the theories... uh about like it was like patricide or something it was like one of his theories were eventually like about like killing your dad and his dad's like that's retarded and then he was like all right yeah and he switched it to like the opposite Literally, <laughs> yeah he was dude, like here's my theory on killing you dad yeah and his dad was like, like that shit sucks his dad like, sorry dad sorry his dad bullied one of his theories and he did a total 180 <laughs> on his theory was like, i'm gonna fucking kill you dad <laughs> and he was like no nah, that theory sucks it was something like that or it was the opposite where his dad fucking like crushed his theory and then his next theory was like patricide <laughs> yeah, it, definitely. It, it's, so, it's so funny 
fuck. I mean, that's the ten, that's like what our like psychology is based. Dude, on. I don't know what is going on with you right now, but you are. I'm in school, firing. bro. You I'm are fucking. You are so, so smart. Much education around. You're me. so smart. I'm kind of dumb. I, I have a lot of <laughs> I have a lot of knowledge in my head that just has nothing to apply. It's just like a swirl of like useless shit that I'm just well, like. Now someone just listened to it for an hour and a half. <laughs> someone sat there with a swirl of useless shit. It was like hell yeah, sick cast. <laughs> oh, I know that's fantastic. <laughs> no, I think I've 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 been interested. So whoever's listening to this must be like, well, thank you. Fuck you. Well, thank you. Yeah, dude, you crushed. What goes on beneath the fucking iceberg, dude? That's Shane Gillis. Nothing. Really? Nah, you know me, dude. Sky country football. Still dude. waters run deep, though. I got a lot I going on down here, I baby. I know this, dude. Yeah. You can't fool me. No, I don't really I'm have. I'm a dark shaman. In, I might be a legal shaman in 2022. What do you mean? Mushroom research goes properly. You're going to become mushrooms a, legally, you're going to be a shaman? Mushrooms are supposed to be legal um, for medicinal use projected by 2022. When's the kid graduate? 2022. Wow. Do you think you'll become a shaman? Potentially. I mean, that's a goal. That it, literally. It's literally one of my goals. I could have my own practice where I do mushroom therapy. Where you're legally referred to as a shaman? Mm, people could well, call you me could, that. You could make mm, people call you that. Mm, people could call me that if they wanted Hell to. Hell yeah. I would start dressing like dashikis and be like, I mean, you call me whatever you want. I mean, whatever. Yeah. No, I want to hear become about it. Become a dude. witch doctor. I mean, I might. I might, become an, I might go to the dark side, though. Start yeah. cursing you. <laughs> convincing alligators to eat you. Don't curse me. What's, dude? <laughs> Nothing's going on. With What's me. going on, dude? Nothing, man. I'm... What's boiling, dude? Nothing. Nothing, that I, nothing I think I should talk about. Really? On this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know dude, this was, was uh, so, this was, so this morning I do, um, I told you I meditate every morning. Ten minutes, dude. I have to do it now. It's, it's an ingrained habit. But my whole point is to try to feel like I'm just not thinking about anything else, which is hard to do, yeah. which is hard to sit there. And not like the, my whole thing while I'm sitting there, it's like you spend so much of your time, like just most of your time is living in the future kind of how you're just like, and then I'm going to say this and then I'm going to say it. Like if you just close your eyes, it's just like all your plans. My eyes going. are so bad right now. That's, like, <laughs> that's all I'm thinking about is how much my right so eye is. I'm sitting there the whole time and it's like I have to just kind of block myself from thinking about plans or like even thinking ideas. Like you'll get an idea and be like, oh, that's cool. I got to write that down. You're just constantly blocking that because you're just never, you're like a never ending loop. That? Every morning. No, I'm saying that you have cool ideas that you write down. Every fucking second, dude. <laughs> every dude, every time I, I – dude, so I'm like sitting there this morning. I'm sitting there doing that, and I'm like, I just got to stay in the present moment. Got to stay out of the future. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. I spent so much of my time mentally in the future. This is fucking crazy. And then it, I got a text, and I stopped. I waited two seconds. I was like, that's a message from the past. I was like, fuck, it is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You sound like you're on big doinks and no, Amish. I wasn't, dude. You weren't doinked out? I'm just chilling in my house in the morning, and I'm like, damn, dude. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> well, I, went, I, I went to a psychic with uh, with my girlfriend, with Brittany, when we first got together. And this lady, I was like, dude, this is such a fucking waste of money. This is stupid. And then, like, she's like, it's not. Nah, nah, nah. We went in there, and the lady was like, you know, she's talking. She was like, I sense you have a lot of relatives. And my girlfriend's looking at me like, see? And I'm sitting there like, all right. And she's like, you'll be married one day. And I'd just gotten divorced. And I was like, yeah, I just got divorced. And she was like, Oh, oh wait, uh, and I was just like, you fucking, you blew oh it, you blew God. it, lady, you fucking blew it. Fake psych, I exposed her, dude. Damn, imagine how much money you can make as a fucking broad psychic, just bringing in chicks and well, being like, you will one day be married. And the chick like, yes, I knew it, <laughs> I knew it, I knew well, I was gotta, finally yeah. gonna get married. It's like, a, a psychics is just a weird religion, it's like, you're just kind of like a priest, so like, yeah, people come in and are like, yeah, you're obviously full of shit, you know, like, let me stop you there. What? As somebody who lives up in New York now, and like yeah. you gotta you gotta start. There's no weird religions. Okay, yes, every religion's are. weird, Matt. Yeah, they are. So you you don't just sit here and pick and choose what which ones are weird. Weirdest? What do you think is the weirdest? What's the weirdest? <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know. <laughs> <What are> you, <laughs> Probably Christianity. You think so? Definitely. Which religion do you think is the best for women? Best for women? Psychics. Um, psychics. <laughs> <laughs> psychics for sure. <laughs> Yeah, but all you got to do is wait for like the 10 weirdos that believe that you're a psychic and you can just absolutely bleed them dry. You're yeah. like, look, I, I got to, I need like you have a vi- Your husband's going to be hot and rich <laughs> and you're going to get married soon. I see you're, you're going to be dating Chris Hardwick. <laughs> oh, oh, Matt. 